Welcome to this Helix update video. In this video we'll be looking at a new feature that's available uh, from the data summary tab that makes the data far more interactive and easy to use. Okay, let's get in and have a look at it. To access this new feature you need to be a Helix subscriber and the feature can be found inside the data tab. So let's have a quick look at that. The first thing you'll notice is we have two tabs under the data tab now. We have the download the report PDFs, which are the existing reports uh, that are updated every quarter. And these are the very detailed reports giving you a whole lot of information about a specific persona. The new data summary tab uh, allows you to look at all the variables that are in those same reports and that went into the construction of Helix. And you can rank and sort them to look at which personas have got the highest concentrations of any given variable. If we look at uh, uh, value segments, we can look at socially aware and we can sort them from highest to lowest. And so the highest socially aware uh, persona is a new school call. And we can look at that by the H% percent across the population, the index value or the V% percent as well. If we want to look at technology adoption, we can say, OK, let's look at technology adoption and who are the early te technology adopters? And again, it's new school, cool, and you can see the uh, the profile running down like that from highest to lowest. So really easy to use. Along the top, we have the segments, we have the demographics. So these are all the demographics that are available in Helix. Age, children, household, discretionary expenditure, education, gender, generation, state, and so forth. We have attitudes as well. So these are all the attitudes available from the reports. Attitudes regarding advertising and media, environmental, family and home, finance, food, government and social, health and fitness, holiday, personal and shopping and product. So if we want to look at say finance, we can just click on that. And then we can look at those people who claim to be financially stable at the moment. And we can just sort those. Okay, and it's the self-made lifestyle is at the top. We also have the activities that people participate in. And we can look at activities taken over the last three months. For example, sports and activities participated in. And we have all the variety of activities across here. We also have media. So you can look at which personas love reading addressed or unaddressed mail, who use the internet and cinema. Um, we can look at time of day, type of newspapers read, type of shows watched. Uh, weekday and commercial and so on. So let's have a look at perhaps the type of television shows watched. And we can say, well, who watches the documentaries? And you can see the uh, persona mix there of people who watch the documentaries running from highest to lowest again. Finally, we have the media. And uh, what we've done here is you can choose a specific persona. For example, you could look at, say, the 203s again. And you can look at their newspapers, um, and we can look at it at a national level, but it's probably more useful to look at it at a state level. So these are the 203s in New South Wales, and they read the Sydney Morning Herald, the Financial Review, the Australian, and so forth, right? And you can compare that with, say, Victoria, who read uh, The Age, and so forth. So very briefly, this is a new feature. Uh, we think it's really, really great and super, super interesting. Um, we think it would add a lot of value to all the data you get. Um, as with the profiles and the catchment reports, this data is updated every quarter. So on behalf of the Helix team, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you need any more information about this feature or Helix Personas, please just email us at info at helixpersonas.com.au or you can visit the website and, uh, and contact us through that.